Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning. Hope you are well, and thanks for joining uh, this webinar. Um, I'm so pleased to have uh, Gelson Fernandez here with me today as we will talk about FIFA Forward uh, 3.0, what this new cycle brings, and of course, how it can benefit the uh, African member associations. So for those of you joining for the first time, um, my name is Gabriel Ajala. I am the founder of Africa Sports Unified. And in case you don't know what we do or who we are, we're a sports business organization focused on the Pan-African uh, sports industry. And our whole purpose is to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. And by doing that, we believe that, you know, social and economic benefits can come to the continent. So we consult, we work with organizations, uh, we host events to connect these thought leaders in the space. Uh, we produce insights and intelligence so such as these uh, webinars, uh, reports, um, thought pieces, um, and also we educate. So we have a, a future leaders development program that we'll be running as well to help to engage with the future leaders and trailblazers within the Pan-African sports space. And yeah, I am so privileged to have Gelson with us today. And so we'll just be running through FIFA Forward 3.0. And before we start, and I'll allow Gelson to introduce himself, just a uh, overview of how things will run. I will ask Gelson a few questions um, about the program. Um, if our audience or people who are joining, if you do have any questions at all, um, please drop them in the comments section. And once again, uh, there, is no thing, there is no thing such as a, a silly question. So please feel free to put those questions in the comments section and we will um, ask them to Gelson. So yes, enough from me, and I guess we can uh, get into the topic. Uh, Gelson, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate you being here. Um, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your invitation. Um, it's an honor, it's a pleasure for me to represent FIFA, to represent my team uh, through this uh, uh, this interview of ours this morning, um, looking forward to it, uh, looking forward to explain to you a little bit more about us, about what we do, uh, mm -hmm. and about our programs. Um, you know, I'm director of Member Association Africa since uh, the 1st of August uh, uh, from last year, so a few yeah. months now on board, so I could see um, and start implementing uh, our vision and the vision of the FIFA top management uh, regarding the development in Africa. So looking forward to it and let's do it. Dynamic and sharp. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, so you mentioned you just started your role in August. How, how have you found this new role? Well, look, uh, I found uh, quality people uh, within my team. Uh, I have to admit and to, uh, to tell them that uh, I'm proud to be uh, the leader of uh, this subdivision. Um, we find, of course, um, some issues that we have in African football, especially from governance perspective. I'm not a fan of uh, of troubles between uh, football association and, uh, and government, but sometimes it does happen. We need to prevent this. Um, you know, we we are on track about what we want to do, what we want to achieve uh, on the pitch and outside the pitch. Uh, which is very important, and uh, the most important thing is to uh, to have a close uh, follow up with uh, with our MAs to help them reach the maximum mm -hmm. of the potential they have. So um, you know, uh, quite enjoying what I do. Uh, privileged to do this, and uh, privileged to uh, to lead the team. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay, let's get straight into the topic at hand, right? Which is a uh, the new cycle for uh, FIFA Forward uh, 3.0. Now, just to provide some context for those listening. So this new cycle uh, was launched January 2023, this year. It's a new four-year cycle, which runs to the end of 2026, um, almost a 30% increase from FIFA Forward 2.0. Um, there's an aim to see 60 million female players participate in football worldwide in this coming cycle. And we'll definitely touch on that as March is International Women's Month. So we'll definitely uh, talk in more detail about that. Um, as one of the key facts as well, there's up to 5 million 
uh, for each member association to cover its operational costs. Um, <clears throat> another further 3 million as well, pocketed for that. Um, MAs need to identify their assistance. Um, again, extra funds available for that as well. Uh, an extra up to 5 million for each regional um, association to organize regional football competitions for men, women, and youth. So I guess just to kick things off, um, Gelson, the first question in terms of FIFA Forward, um, how has this, and again, the whole idea of FIFA Forward is to help to support and grow um, football in each country for its member associations, but how has uh, FIFA Forward transformed football and, of course, you know, in particular benefited African member associations? You know, let's, uh, let's come back a little bit uh, mm -hmm. in the past. In the past, in Africa, each member association had $250,000 uh, a year uh, to run and football in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, Gianni Infantino was elected, he launched with his team uh, the FIFA Forward 1.0. Uh, we went then to 2.0 and to 3.0. Of course, uh, FIFA in general learned from these three cycle, uh, three different cycles, which were coming in the third third cycle now. Uh, two previous ones uh, has been done. Uh, we are currently doing a report internally about what has been done, what has been achieved uh, in terms of legacy, etc., what we can improve. Uh, so we also do work about ourselves. FIFA Forward is a game changer for Africa. It's a game mm -hmm. changer because for the first time, uh, the member association are able to invest uh, in terms of infrastructure, but football development as well. Uh, mm -hmm. It's key because sometimes you have the help of the government, sometimes you have less of help of the government, sometimes the government has some issues, uh, political issues, which uh, prevent them to, to be able to invest into sport and youth, uh, you know, with all the, the instability that we get into the continent. Mm -hmm. So uh, we started in 2016, we are now start of 2023, and we have a kickoff mm -hmm. for the next four-year cycle. So FIFA Forward is, uh, will change and is changing the face of African football, but it takes time because things take time to be built uh, to have proper implementation uh, mm -hmm. of, of different programs. <clears throat> no, um, well said. So, you know, we've mentioned that FIFA Forward 3.0 is a new four-year cycle. Are you able to maybe elaborate more on the changes from FIFA 2.0 um, to 3.0 and then any key information from those changes that perhaps our member associations can be need to be aware of? Well, the member associations are aware of it, uh, <laughs> to be honest, because we communicated all the changes into details uh, about it. Naturally, there is more funds available, but we have also conditions, conditions that does... Uh, does change minor changes, not uh, major changes about the conditions to get to be able to have all the funds. People uh, get to think that uh, over a cycle, uh, it's you, of course, you have the five million uh, for operational cost and the three million for project, but they are submitted to conditions. Not all the projects can be done. We are analyzing as well. Uh, which kind of project does it make sense? Uh, there is a few, there is a lot of conditions uh, to be uh, to be fulfilled for a member association to be able to upgrade, for example, a stadium or or mm -hmm. infra infrastructure. They need uh, to own the land or to have uh, the, the capacity to, uh, to 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 be able to do things uh, on the land for more than uh, 25 years, 20, 25 years, depending. So. You know, it's not just, uh, oh, the 8 million, oh, they receive 8 million in cash. Yeah. They don't need to do tournament for youth. They don't need to do tournament for, for, for women's football. They don't need to, to have a technical center. They don't need, to, you know, it's a clear parameter, which is led by our team. Uh, the member association services, uh, we are here as a subdivision to make sure that we help our members to be able mm -hmm. to, 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 to get access to all these funds and to invest it properly once again um, and to leave a proper legacy. So, uh, you know, uh, the changes uh, accurate to 30% is quite, uh, it's quite significant. And yeah. because, because also we, we are an association and what FIFA earns, FIFA will give back to football. 
This is what is important, and we need to make sure that money goes into football and mm -hmm. stays into football. So um, this is our target, and uh, the members are fully aware, and we are in constant exchange with, uh, with each member association across the continent through our four regional offices uh, that follow up the Emirates. Yeah, wonderful. Um, <clears throat> so you touched on, you know, the funds isn't just given. You have to meet, I guess, a few criteria. <clears throat> In order to receive the funds. Um, could you just maybe also maybe elaborate on the process um, of how these funds are allocated um, and accessed by um, the, the MAs or the various stakeholders? Oh, you have, the op you have the operational cost, but you know, we do, we do central audit as well. And so we, yeah. we, we check some MAs are in, into restricted funds. Uh, mm -hmm. They are not able to receive all the funds. Uh, other ones uh, are on to normalization committee, so uh, there it's less football development because we want to get um, to, to the MA to go to change the status, to yeah. align with the FIFA status and uh, to have proper governance and to lead into election. Yeah. Um, you know, we have MAs that uh, have more than uh, uh, four or five million revenue, so uh, they, are, they don't have access to, uh, for example, transport allocated funds, which is 350,000 and also 50,000, um, which is from um, travel costs. So mm -hmm. we, 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 we balance this uh, and they receive the, the operational funds uh, two times a year, in, one time in January and one time in, um, in July. Um, so from, from the same year and, you know, uh, all the, 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 the procedures are about, about the project are led by, uh, by uh, an expert panel. Then, uh, you know, we go to a development committee, then we, we validate it. So it's not, uh, it's not uh, the, the member association contact us and tell yeah. my, uh, my head of development in Africa, oof. Solomon, I need to do this. Uh, and Solomon will say, okay, I call finance and I send you the money. Does not mm -hmm. work like that. It's a clear procedures and yeah. projects are checked, uh, monitor from a financial governance perspective uh, as well. So uh, you know we don't. To, then we allocate the funds through different processes. Uh, we don't send the funds in this, in in all all at once. Which we have a clear calendar about, uh, and we check if the work has been done. We expect to report. Uh, from the follow-up of the work. So it's uh, quite uh, uh, complicated, but this is what we yeah. do. We try to be effective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, in terms of where the funds can be invested, correct me if I'm wrong, you have uh, your capacity building, capacity development, uh, competitions. <clears throat> um, there's one class, there's other, which I'll ask you about, and there's, and there's two others as well. Um, so according to FIFA 2.0, and this is particular within Africa, within the CAF region, um, the least invested area uh, for CAF out of the five areas was capacity development, which was just over $3.5 uh, million um, at the time. Um, I'm sure you understand the importance of this area and how important it is for stakeholders to improve their knowledge of matters of course, of course. and better management of programs, etc. So I guess with this new program, is there an initiative to ensure resources are used towards like more capacity development, or is that just left to the each member association to decide how how best to allocate the resources? No, but you have to you have, you have to understand also something. Some mm -hmm. Countries, they had no stadiums, proper stadiums. Some yeah. countries had no technical center. Some mm -hmm. countries had HQ, which you cannot even sit on it. So there are priorities. The funds yeah. are not unlimited. Yeah. The funds are not unlimited. Now, the potential in African football, once you have the infrastructure, because infrastructure was non-existent. Uh, before, in most of the countries before FIFA Forward. We have to admit this. If we take the list of all the infrastructure that has been built or refurbished, uh, it's massive. So that was the priority. Now I think uh, as FIFA, we come into the next step, which is what kind of activity we bring into the infrastructure, if it's competitions, capacity building, it's key, key area, and we are working on it. So we, cannot, we don't communicate about everything before it's done. 
<laughs> but we are working, uh, we are working and we are following up the, the, the MAs and this is an area where this is uh, where we can improve. Uh, give access to, to people, to knowledge, uh, to knowledge that, that we have and knowledge that others have and knowledge that other continents has. Uh, I think we come a bit from, from behind there uh, and this is a high priority into my list and we are currently working on it. So we do know that in Africa we have, uh, we have potential, but now it's all to get access to people to fulfill that potential from, uh, I believe, strongly in, into African people, uh, knowledge, uh, potential. It, they just need to have the tools, to have the platform, and then to have the possibilities to, 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 to make it. You know, it's uh, in each member association, in each, on the confederation himself, on the zones, and of course at FIFA because we need uh, we need quality people. No, I, I completely agree. Uh, and what you mentioned about um, having quality people and that the appetite is there uh, yeah. reminds me of another um, webinar that we've done with FIFA about uh, FIFA Digital Skills Platform. Yeah. And how the African regions, African member associations are um, the early adopters of this and there's been so much engagement um, and so much uptake with these new platforms and tools uh, that FIFA are providing to help connectivity, uh, capacity development as well. <clears throat> so that's very keen um, or good to hear actually. No, you know, you, you, know you, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking in front of you and you are an yeah. uh, intelligent guy, young guy, dynamic, you. <laughs> uh, Africa. No, I mean, you know, it's not uh, just, uh, you know, we have, we do have uh, yeah. this kind of people. We do within, uh, within the, 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 the continent. But football and sport in general, it's not just a simple game and a joke. And the, the responsibilities are high. And, yeah. and we speak a lot, you know, in general. But mm -hmm. then we, I believe, huh? I strongly believe we need to act more. Uh, yeah. And we need, we need to follow up more and give people opportunities. I mean, give people opportunities, platform to, you know, help people go into, into the administration of a football club, into the administration of a federation, association, regional association, uh, confederation, zonal uh, association. I want, I want us to level up the level of, uh, of, 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 of people that we have, help the good people that we have already there, you know, mm -hmm. so, so they can really uh fulfill once again the potential what they, they have and get this uh, this um i would say be serious at work be committed uh give that passion because why i will tell you this because we have responsibilities we have billions of people uh in in in, uh, in africa we have that responsibility to give the kids a platform which they can enjoy themselves which they yeah. can forget sometimes the tough reality they face, mm -hmm. which they can have dreams, which they mm -hmm. can have opportunities. So, um, yeah, the task is, is big, but uh, capacity building, we are, we, we are on it and uh, things need to become quite fast on it. No, I like that. <clears throat> Especially, as you mentioned, you know, the opportunities that it brings for people who may be facing hardship, right? But mm. I think... You know that on the head in terms of the impacts this brings both not just socially but also economically too you yeah. know socially it will help to bring people joy uh, give people opportunities uh, you know if infrastructure is an area uh, within fifa forward that we can invest in so if you invest in infrastructure you create these uh these turfs these football pitches you can create um footballs etc give these people opportunities to play and you know sports bring so much social benefits not just that also can bring the, the economic benefits too so it's really going in the whole ecosystem from the ecosystem down. exactly the, the ecosystem is it's it, it's it's massive huh? uh, I yeah, mean, huge. and I, maybe maybe we don't highlight the 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 ecosystem around what we build and what we support uh, this is a mea culpa, no, 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 no issue at all. We spoke about mm -hmm. it in, uh, internally already uh, with our media channels and the communication department. Why? Because, you know, when you go in a, in a region and you build an artificial pitch where the kids could not play, let's say uh, a, a country, you put some yeah. light, you bring uh, 
uh, that place alive. Uh, people can sell, can have some kind of commerce around around the the facility. You get uh, tournaments, you get competitions, you get uh, trainings, you get hope, you get school. Maybe going there, you speak with government, you speak with the with the mayor. You know all these things. It's it's a, it's an ecosystem. This is more than football. This is life. Yes. This is sport. Yeah. This is youth. This is our legacy. So. You know, uh, we tr we try to you know when a federation when we gave operational cost to one federation, the federation will help the clubs, federation will help the regional association, federation will help employees, federation will you know, and all of them it's it it, it comes down. So you know, this is from us very top to down at the at the lowest level. Um, it's a it's 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 a long way. And we, we need to make sure that uh, we, we create this pathway for people also yeah. to, to have this, you know, um, in general. No, it's great. Um, again, to those listening, please, Gelson has given so much insight here. So please take what he's saying on board. Um, and for those who have just joined as well, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you mm -hmm. do have any questions, please just drop them in the comment section and we will uh, read them or ask them over to Gelson, should I say. Um, so, Gelson, you mentioned some examples of how, you know, engaging with federations can bring so much opportunity because we have, uh, there is a lot of opportunity on ground and engaging with the intelligent people as well and working with them to build a whole ecosystem which supports everyone. Um, and from what you mentioned, I want to ask you about a few maybe case studies or good examples that you know of from maybe how funds have been used. Um, one that actually sticks out to me is, so CAF have a fairly new uh, program called the CAF Schools Program. Um, African School friend, Championship. Yes. And our dear friend Yvonne, she's, uh, she's running that. Um, and they were recently, towards the end of last year, they were in your, your home country, actually, Cape Verde. Um, yep. And it was a beautiful uh, three, I think it's a 3G astral turf. It was a wonderful facility. Yep. That's a great example of funds being accurately used for FIFA Forward to help uh, its aim, its goal, you know, to help develop and support football uh, yep. across different regions across the world. Uh, do you know from your example, I know you've been in the role since August, but do you have any other examples of you know, oh, maybe yeah. countries or federations of how they no, use the funds I mean well? I mean, no, no, they, a lot of countries are using uh, the funds well. Huh? I mean, uh, and a lot, uh, you know, what you have to, to, to know as well, mm -hmm. the, the cycle we are speaking to, it's a four-year cycle. In the meantime, we can have change of president, we can have change of executive committee, you know, and it, and it, it changed the total management of the federation and maybe the yeah. total vision of the president of, the, of the, the federation. That's why stability is key. Mm -hmm. Stability is key into our member association to be able to develop. Some countries are very small, like Djibouti, small country, uh, culture of football. People love football, but we are yeah. not speaking about an African giant. But mm -hmm. they're using the funds well. They run football. They do competitions for youth, women's and men's. They, they, they build up the technical center. They, they, they develop stadiums, etc., etc. Plenty of countries are, do, are doing well. Some others had a uh, governance issue which stopped totally the activity uh, of football or, or, or youth, etc. Which, when, when we have suspended MAs, when we have normalization committee, etc., football cannot grow up as fast as when you have stability in one MA. Yeah. So we have I mean, it's, uh, I'm not doing political here and saying that country more than that, this, this one, etc. because we are not doing a league table mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, who is doing best. But what I want to say is that sometimes you can reach uh, your targets quicker because the environment, the ecosystem of the country and the football landscape help you growing faster than, uh, than, than other ones. So I cannot judge one country which had a war for example, or military coup, uh, yeah. I cannot say, look, you did nothing, but they could not. You, you, you know, they could not. Uh, so so we, we are pushing every single member association. We are pushing them. And my job is not to say, do that. You think this is right for you, just do it. My job is to say, you think this is for you? Maybe you can adapt this and this and that. Or I believe, we believe, not just me, 
we had our expert panel, our people, colleagues, our experience, our expertise. We believe this might not be appropriate for you. Then it's up to the federation to decide, but we don't always say yes. This is not my role to say yes to everything or our role. We are here to support fully the member association, but we are also here to give tips, advice, guidance uh, to, uh, to, to each member association. Oh, well said. Um, well said. <clears throat> yeah, I've read through the like the brief or the document, and one thing that did stick out is um, how much FIFA would support the member associations, yep. not just with capacity development expert, but just general, you know, expertise and knowledge sharing to really help them make the most of the funds and give. Um, and like, yeah, advice and their expertise yeah. um, in how best they can use it according to what they need to do yeah. for their specific federation, <clears throat> yeah. which is extremely key. Yeah, that's important. You know, in federation, we have regional offices. When, when Gian Infantino came, he decided to have regional offices that are close to MAs with uh, quality people uh, with experience to be able to support people. Within. And what we did. So we created the, 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 the regional offices. Now we, we have uh, three active, four. Uh, Vazaville, we will need to employ someone. But these regional offices and people that are working into the regional offices, these are my people, our people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are close to the MAs every day. I've got two, or two top people as well in, 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 in Paris with me, which is Solomon Mudeja and Céline Zigol. But they cannot be everywhere. You know, yeah. so we have to have people close on the ground with the member association, talk to them, exchange. Uh, the member association has a question, be there for them. The member association has a problems, be there for them. The member association has a joy to share, be there for them. So this is our DNA within Africa to build up that trust where member association can share with us things that they need and we provide them access to knowledge, competence, expertise, experience which they need. This is, this is my vision. So this is what we are trying to reach here. No, that's great. And I know not too long ago, if I'm correct from wrong, uh, FIFA set up a regional office in Kigali in Rwanda. Yeah. Are there any more plans to open up any other regional offices on the continent? Or is that is, is that it for now? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Uh, for the <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. No, the most important thing is yeah. uh, it's maybe what, what can we improve the, the regional offices? Do they yeah. need more people? Do we need more people to be able to, to support the, the, the member association within one region? This is a question uh, and analyze. And then for the rest, in terms of strategy, where we will open, should we open? This is a more global aspect. We also need to wait the vision of our president uh, mm -hmm. from, for, the, for the cycle because we also align on the vision of our top management, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because this what we want to achieve in one continent is what we want to achieve also in the world with all the, um, I would say, difficulties that you, can, you could get in one continent, especially Africa for myself. So basically, um, yeah, the regional offices, the setup now uh, is this way. We have Kigali, Joburg, Brazzaville and Dakar, um, which cover the 54 member association. For the future, uh, we will uh, see uh, that. Uh, I'm very honest with you. It's uh, yeah. things we always, we always think what we can improve and do better because we also have to analyze what we have been doing well, what we did not not so good and mm -hmm. what we can improve our, ourselves so we are very critical to ourselves as well mm -hmm. okay um i have a few questions but i'm going to take some questions uh, that people have <clears throat> oh, asked no on the side no problem okay so the first one is from grace um she asks can the funds only be accessed by member associations can individual companies submit an application to access these funds forward funds for FIFA forward, no, no, no just for MAs, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. MAs. Okay, just for member associations, Grace. But thank you. Yeah, for um, for, for the project. Yeah. Zo Zo yeah. will get get some some support as well, and the confederation mm. get some support as well. But the problem is here, our stakeholders are the member station. The problem here we face, mm. uh, if we go into individual, uh, then all we monitor, all we check. Yeah, you know, it's, it's too like. Large. No, it's too, 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 too large, you know, and uh, yeah. why, why they do this uh, and we cannot uh, uh, 
the, the, the money FIFA has, it's for mm-hmm. football. Money FIFA has, it's not for, 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 for individual. You know, we have to give back to the communities. We have to give back to, 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 to countries. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, sorry, Grace, about that. But uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. um, let me ask you another one as well from Zina, which is a great question. So obviously what we spoke about capacity development and finding the right people on the ground. Uh, so Zinab is asking, what is the process currently available in FIFA to give people the opportunities to be the change makers in the African region? And how do you identify those talents and collaborators? No, you see, I think we will do a forum uh, to give access to people to speak about African football. Mm-hmm and uh, to exchange. When is the best timing? I still need to, to decide this. I need to speak also to my team. I think this is important. Now, we, uh, of course, every, I'm always available, you know, always. Uh, uh, they can have access to me or to my team and uh, we cannot accept all profile and, and we check. Once we need someone specifically, then we open uh, candidature and we, we see if the curriculum yeah. uh, it, it can fit the job description mm-hmm. we can do you know but um, at the moment we are we will be looking soon for people uh, mm-hmm. in different departments but um, it's not like we cannot uh, yeah. uh, accept everyone and it's <laughs> and and we have to be effective as well so yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, the doors at FIFA are not closed at all Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean, people cannot think, oh, no, I cannot get access to FIFA. I cannot reach them. They are too far yeah. from everything. No, 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 no. We, we are accessible, at least Africa. And then um, I speak for myself. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, another question from Francis, uh, which is a very good question, actually. So Francis says, I have seen on FIFA Forward Impact Map quite a few teams in Africa have not used up their FIFA Forward 2.0 funds. Are those still available? And what's your advice to member associations and the regions based on your expertise? What do you need to focus on with this resource? You know, it, it all depends on the landscape of the football in, in general mm-hmm. in, the, in, in mm-hmm. the country. Some did not have access because they were in a normalization committee, for example. Yeah. Some were suspended. Uh, you know, uh, in this kind of aspect, the FIFA Forward 2.0 could be uh, available until December 2024. So some MAs, if they have still uh, 2.0 left, or even 1.0 sometimes, uh, they can they can still use that fund, bring it together with 3.0, and 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 do something. You know, no problem. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. Um, please keep the questions coming in. I'll go back to a few of my questions that I have. And then we'll end with some questions. Yeah, right, that, okay, um, okay. Yeah. If you do have any more questions, please drop them in the comment section. <clears throat> um, so, okay, how important was actually, I think at the end of 2022 um, in Paris or beginning of 2023, uh, I forgot the dates. I can but, tell um, you the dates, on the 7th and on the 8th of February. You are talking okay. about the workshop? Uh, yes, in Paris <laughs> for the African Member Associations. Yeah. Thank you. you. You read my mind. <laughs> um, no, no, no problem. I've got. I had uh, received the question, so uh, yeah, yeah, good. Um, how important was that workshop? I guess because at the beginning you said you know you've spoken to the member associations already. You run through uh, this new uh, instalment of FIFA Forward. Just how important was that gathering? Not just to relay the information. That was not gathering. Get- that was that, that was not gathering. That was okay. not, uh, that was not two days to come and enjoy Paris. It was not mm. the case. That was mm-hmm. work. Yeah, that was work. And member association did well. I yeah. admit. I, ad- I admit. It was not. Oh, we are going to Paris and enjoy the Tour Eiffel and do some tourism. Yeah. Mm-mm. It was not that. We worked. We worked mm-hmm. about strategic plan. We work about the contract of agreed objective, which is coming. We mm-hmm. work about tools that we can give the MAs to improve the strategic plan, the implementation, KPI, follow-up, and oh, what, what funds you have available, what can you invest, where can you invest, um, mm-hmm. does you, do you start a project, can you keep that project running over the next cycle, uh, do you have extra funding coming from sponsorship, from government, from uh, prize money, it's, you know, all these kind of things. So we sat down together, what are your difficulties, where are you? as a member association, where do you want to go? 
Mm-hmm. Or do you want to go there? Or do you, or do you get there? What kind of support you need? Which area? Does your administration can reach that level? Your administration need capacity building in some key aspect. Does yeah. your technical department is at the level you expect to, to, for you to reach a, a certain level of, uh, of uh, competition in two, three, four, five years? Are you preparing your youth football to be able to, to get to a certain level in a few years as well? All these aspects, it's not just... You cannot wake up in five years or saying, I want to be, I don't know, at the World Cup 2026 or 2030 without doing proper job at the ground yeah. right now, right from the beginning, you know. Some, some started from a few years ago. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. I, I don't believe in luck, you know. Yeah. In, in, into this, now into this sport industry, into this football industry, at the level of the, the, the financing that, that, that member association have access around the world, um, I mean, UEFA, Comnebol, CONCACAF, AFC, mm-hmm. OFC, at, at this level, there is no... If we do not work, it's finished. The guys, yeah. they will... They, 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 because some members association, they are working, you know. They, 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 they're not... Uh, they're not uh, the ones that are, does not take that seriously, they, they cannot have success. And they cannot give joy to the people within yeah. the country, you know? So uh, this workshop was key for me. It was key because it, it was be, at right of the beginning of the cycle, uh, new cycle coming, new funds available, new vision, but I want every single penny into uh, the available for M- MA. I hope, huh? this is my, uh, my dream, that it goes into the right place, right investment, uh, and that, that helps football. Once again, I come from the pitch, you know. Yeah. So uh, it needs to uh, it needs to be back. To, we need to give back that to the people. No, I, I love that. I love your enthusiasm, and it seems that the member associations are really keen to best use and make use of you know this new cycle. No, you know we have forward. we have good we have good management huh? in, in, yeah. into 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 many African MAs. Huh? I would mm. say you know we have good people, young people, young dynamic people. I mean, sometimes I heard things. Oh, yeah, governance, blah blah blah, and people, and then this president. No, 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 no. no. I, I can tell you, and I can assure you, the guys they worked very yeah. hard. So we bring them back not to school, but mm-hmm. it looks like we could have pictures. We really committed ourselves. Yeah. We we really went uh, through 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 this, and we did not. We we, we it takes two days. It was hard. Was was heavy, and now they need to digest. But we are following this week. We are having workshop online with them, you know. And we will carry on this English speaking, French speaking by groups, mm-hmm. and then we will give them tools, and then we speak again at the congress that we follow up. Uh, I was a defensive midfielder uh, while I was playing. A great uh, defensive oh, midfielder. Oh, as well. No, great. Yeah. I was not that great. But <laughs> very <laughs> aggressive, very aggressive, and, and always on the, on on my toes to jump on onto the playmaker. So I will not, the 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 the, the, the I will not leave them brief. You know. Yeah. I will yeah, press. Yeah. You be you be on them. <laughs> yeah, but not just me. Just once again, I have a great team. Uh, the team is doing an amazing job on the ground. Mm-hmm. I have great people. We have a fantastic spirit. And why I want to keep this spirit, and for the ones that are, uh, that are into that line, fine. The ones that they feel it's uh, the pace or the, the spirit is not for them, then they, sh- they cannot work at FIFA. Yeah. At, they cannot work with, 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 uh, with the subdivision Africa because mm-hmm. we are here to give back to people. Yeah. We are here to support our members and we are privileged billions of people I, once again we are uh, you know we have responsibilities task but what a challenge i mean it's amazing you know when yeah. we when we wake up in the morning we should be uh, we, are, we should be i am grateful and blessed and we are all blessed to be in, in that position and to be able to change things i mean there's, mm-hmm. there's nothing more beautiful than that you know so yeah, yeah let's push that's great um that's fantastic to hear uh, another question i'm just going to Oh, well, I have a few questions left. So there's a category under um, where funds can be allocated. 
So we've discussed competitions, infrastructure, capacity development, and then there's another category called other. Um, can you maybe elaborate on what falls under that other category? Or is it going to be on like a case by case basis from the yeah, federation? It, 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 it's, it's case by case, and we study this. It could be uh, you know support to national teams. It could be uh, uh, different programs, academic programs. It could be uh, you know social programs. Mm -hmm. it could, you know. Um, regional uh, association support, you know, all these kind of uh, things. Uh, yeah. it's, it's so vague. So uh, this is, uh, yeah. but it's not other uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's good just be, just be uh, fine with it. Yeah. Uh, another question I want to ask actually in terms is um, regarding, I mean, of course you've had the workshop in Paris. Uh, you're going to say, you, you said that you're going to have online workshops as well and you meet at the Congress. But are there any uh, like key deadlines um, that MAs need to meet in order to get the funds? And what is like the process? Yeah, for, yeah. Uh, for forward three point forward three point zero, no member association can have access to forward three point zero before signing with FIFA the contract of agreed objective. Mm -hmm. The contract of agreed objective we have until end of June, thirtieth of June. Uh, each MA has that's the deadline to come with the strategy and the, to sign the contract of agreement objective with the, with with FIFA. Now, how do we build this? Mm -hmm. We don't just fill out and say, "Oh, I want to do that, that, that." Three points, end up, finish, we signed. No, yeah. we why we want to do it? Where do we want to do it? Mm -hmm. How we're gonna finance it? Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So very, it's a, it's a collaborate approach, but we want every single member association to analyze themselves. We did over the last few weeks and months a scan of each member association. Mm -hmm. uh, we spoke to them, we exchanged with them, and uh, you know, it's 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 good that way. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, and as I mentioned, um, this month marks the month of International Women's Month. Yeah. I know with uh, this new cycle of FIFA Forward, there's a huge emphasis and drive on women's football. Uh, a significant element of the investment from 3.0 mm. uh, is the will of FIFA, sorry, is FIFA's goal of having 60 million female uh, players participating in football worldwide yeah. at the end of this coming cycle, uh, which I mentioned at the beginning. So, for example, with the recent investment into women's football uh, in Africa, particularly from CAF, you know, the launch of the new Women's Champions League, um, the new um, women's football strategy plan that they put in place. Um, again, and actually to add, we've all seen the amazing, you know, history created at Qatar with Morocco reaching the, the semi-final of the World Cup. Um, the Atlas Lionesses are also doing amazing things as well. And that is with the help from FIFA Forward. So with this new emphasis on women's football, how can we see you know, the further growth? So with, so with the help from FIFA Forward, how can we further see the growth of, of women's football um, in Africa? You know, it's not just FIFA Forward. It's also all the programs of development that we have with the Women's Football Department. Yeah. Uh, the target to have uh, more women playing football across the world. It's, yep. uh, it's an ambitious target. The target to increase uh, uh, the revenues for the, for the women's uh, World Cup and, and then to be able to give that back to the, to the women's football department in each MAs. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a high target. Uh, this is the objective to grow women's football. It's, it's a key priority into, uh, for FIFA president, Jan Infantino, for our general mm -hmm. secretary, uh, Fatma Samoa, the head of, uh, of uh, women's football, uh, Sarai, you know, they, we are all committed. We engage with every uh, women's football department whenever now we are in a mission. Uh, high potential in Africa, high potential across the world. Uh, the girls deserve it. The girls deserve it. We are on it. We will keep pushing uh, mm -hmm. by developing competitions, by increasing, uh, you know, nothing come without money so increasing the, the the capacity to be able to help them to support them and uh to have proper leagues uh, everywhere 
in Africa to have proper youth leagues everywhere in Africa. Uh, you know, material coaching, education for, for women's football as well, but also protection, protection of, uh, of, of the girls and, yeah. and the women's from, from any kind of abuse. So there we are very sensible as well, but it goes the same for the youth, child safe, safeguarding, protection. It's, it's key to me as well because, because uh, it's, it's, it's dangerous and, uh, and we, know, we know about it. So we, we are working hard on it. No, that's great. Um, it's good to hear. And yeah, it's so important, you know, the development of women's football, the position of women's football uh, for the future um, of the continent. Um, another question to ask just before we take some more questions from for the people who have um, contributed. So, you know, the next cycle ends at the end of 2026, which of course is the next year for the World Cup. And you mentioned again in your workshops, both in person and online, you've been quite, you know, working with the member associations to have the strategic plans, etc. And I guess just from your knowledge and insight, how much is that an, an, an incentive for the member associations for them to maybe create another, um, break even more, create more history of potential African nation appearing at a FIFA World Cup final? You know, um, Morocco, so yeah. Morocco is not luck. Huh? Morocco, it's planification, huh? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Ma 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 Morocco, okay, it's infrastructure, fine. Okay, no problem. But not just in having infrastructure is not enough. Then you need activity around infrastructure. You need activity across the, 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 the country. You need, you need coach education to bring your youth player at certain level. You need a quality league within uh, your, 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 your country. You need also um, to, to give trust to your sponsor to be able to invest into into football you need stability mm -hmm. at the, at the, the the management of the federation to get credibility uh you know they they created an ecosystem where people can perform is it women's football or or, or men's football this is no yeah. luck this is no luck they are together they work together they are not fighting mm -hmm. they are they are doing planification investment activities and it works of that but long term but thinking. yeah yes mid mid long term but mm -hmm. they are not they are not um we cannot say as well uh okay morocco did that so african football is there no 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 morocco did that they showed away they did extremely well we are all proud and they also put the bar high because they showed this is possible yeah this is possible, but we have to work. It will not come alone. So the responsibilities of every uh, executive committee and, and stakeholders across African football, it's once again to give the opportunities to the country to develop into that aspect. We are here to support. We are here to give regulation, financing, uh, competence, experience, expertise, etc. We can also share with all, what others do without any problem. But, um, you know, this is... This is where we want to, to really achieve the best of it. But Morocco did well, and they said, look, it's possible. They showed, actually. They did not say, because saying, you can say a lot of things. But a lot of MAs are doing well, but uh, uh, I, want, I want plus, and we will have nine participants plus one, maybe, uh, at uh, the World Cup. So let's push. Let's go. I cannot hear you. You're on silence. Sorry, again, yeah. I must always remember to unmute myself. <laughs> Thank you. No, for that. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to take a question. This is a good question from Azuvira. I hope I pronounced your name right. Mm, okay. So Azuvira's question is, what are the monitoring mechanisms in place to review member association use of those funds provided to them um, to make sure it's going into the right things that they said it's going to go into? Oh, we, we, we monitor, we, have a, we, we check, we have a financial governance uh, department, uh, which is entitled to it. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we do it, they, they process to tenders before, before any project, uh, you know, and it's, it's all, all checked and controlled and double check. <laughs> and it's always, this is always the case, at least for, for FIFA Forward Money. Mm -hmm. Um 
another question I want to ask. I'm trying to keep the questions solely focused on uh, FIFA forward. Um, there's a question here from Mirando. Again, this is around governance, right? I think it's in three parts. Um, how could African football federations or member associations improve their governance through the FIFA Forward 3.0? Um, now, I know that's not a specific area. Yeah, but, but, but I mean, I mean accountability. Uh, yeah, this uh, uh, from a financial governance perspective, uh, we try to support them and get them the best tools possible. Also, mm -hmm. if they need some f f formation, we speak with the financial director, with general secretary, to fix uh, uh, you know a correct current uh, a correct I would say uh, environment where they can really work. If they need any support, we are here and we check and we review also the audit, different audit mm -hmm. that they get. But this mm -hmm. is once again only for forward money. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, we, yeah. we, do, we don't control and have access to we know how much they could get for I don't know sponsor government but this we cannot as FIFA uh, check and control not yet so yeah. uh, basically from a governance perspective what we uh, like is to prevent any kind of crisis uh, have a good relationship with government it seems mm -hmm. that it's, it's important and then and, and to, to do the follow up, but uh, from it's not we can we don't invest FIFA forward money into uh, governance issues. Um, let me just share. I'm sorry. So, and the question I want to ask as well is um, so Kelvin's even mentioned the outstanding work you know that FIFA forward initiative does and and, and provides or enables the uh, member associations to do. Um, but it's hard to visibly see the benefits of this. Like how, or is it just down to the member associates and the federations? How can what's being done on ground with the aid of FIFA Forward, how can that be more visible for Maybe we, may, 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 maybe maybe the stakeholders need to communicate more, but maybe mm -hmm. it's uh, up to us as well to, 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 to communicate more. It's a good point. Yeah. Uh, it's a good point that we have here internally. So, yep, that's. Um, but we do a lot uh, on, on, on on FIFA platform, uh, yeah. and we also have a forward platform which everybody can get access and see mm -hmm. where the money is being invested and how much mm -hmm. in which country. But tangible and and maybe more pictures and videos, etc. This could be done. Yeah. Yeah. Good question, there, Calvin. That's if you guys are listening. That's a potential area. Um, but no, thank you for that. Uh, and one final question, because I know for time, uh, it's from Zineb. Um, do you think there could be more successful models as the one you were referring to regarding Morocco, uh, where we could potentially replicate, which could be potentially replicated elsewhere uh, by developing a more standardized framework? You know, there is different models. Why there is different models and we should not take the example of Morocco on, because every country are different. The cultures yeah. are different. Mm -hmm. the, the, the political situation is different mm -hmm. uh, from one country. You know, you know, Morocco, they have a king uh, and the king is willing to support sport. This is his way. You have other government where sport and youth are less important, maybe. Uh, or they have other issues which they would love to, but they, 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 they cannot because they don't have the the, 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 the financial uh, possibilities to do it, etc. Et we want every member association to work and, and build up a framework and an ecosystem which fit to, once again, the values that they have in the country and the values that the federation has, but also the culture of the country. Every country, Nigeria, it's not the Comoros, and, and Comoros is not Egypt, and Egypt mm -hmm. is not Mali. I mean, mm -hmm. it's every country are different. We need to accept this. And there is no one model that will fit to everyone because the conditions, the culture, and the possibilities are different in each member association. Wonderful. Um, Gelson, thank you. Thank you so much. And, and I guess the final question to wrap up is at the end of this four-year cycle, when we come to the end of 2026, um, after we've seen an African country reach the World Cup final. <laughs> um, ideally, how would you want to see, you know, the condition, the conditions of these African member associations? Um, you know, sustainable. Mm -hmm. 
stability from a governance perspective. Mm -hmm. But we don't like suspension. Mm -hmm. This is not something nice. It's a loss for for mm -hmm. for, for for football. Um, kids dreaming, emotions within member association within countries. The the World Cup. It's where the work that has been done is being put into highlight. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it's a. Uh, It's, we have now more members able to, to participate. We need to prepare them. We need mm -hmm. to prepare the R54s, you know, to, 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 to be able to shine at this level. Uh, but once again, I we would like to speak about football and not others, uh, I would say, topics or problems or things that are uh, outside of football. Mm -hmm. you know, this, is, this is my... Um, This is not my target. This is our target as a team and as yeah. FIFA. Yeah, great. Once again, I don't speak about myself because I represent yeah. team. And uh, and here, when I, my words that I, I tell today, it's uh, also the vision of our president because he launched this uh, this uh, this program, yeah. high innovative innovative program, especially for Africa, and we will we will keep pushing. So uh, you can count on us, and you can count guys on um, on on our team. And FIFA team, we, we Africa is important to me. is is important to FIFA football uh, worldwide. And um, you know, kids deserve once again people that love football deserve fans, yeah. stakeholders, uh, investors. You know, all these people they they, 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 they you know federations. They we are all in the same boat. Yes, <laughs> um, wonderful, Gelson. All right. uh, Merci. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, I, I really appreciate your insights. Um, it's been wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for joining today as well. Um, and don't worry, we will. you'll be able to watch this again and listen to it as a podcast, and we'll send that to you once that's been done. But thank you so much All right. again. Thank you very much. And uh, take care, everyone. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.